Wow, William Saliba, 22 years of age. It is scary how good that centre-back could be. As a Manchester United fan, he's outrageous. He is phenomenal. He's only 22 years of age. He was brilliant versus City. He's been brilliant all season. He's one of the only players, I think he might be the only player that hasn't been dribbled past this season. But it's not even about the fact it's not been dribbled past this season. 100% ground jewels won, 99% pass accuracy, 100% aerial jewels won. It is scary. William Saliba at 22 years of age is a joke of a defender. And when I say joke of a defender, I don't mean the Rob Holding kind of joke. I mean, like, outrageous, outrageously good kind of joke. He's, he's phenomenal. And I hate saying that about an Arsenal player, but, you know, because Arsenal fans in the past, they have overhyped their players, just like we do as Man United fans. But William Saliba, he was quality last season. Him and Gabriel were quality last season, great partnership. When Saliba got injured, Arsenal went, oh, like Saliba, I knew he was a quality player, but sometimes you think, I'm not going to call him one of the best and world class of the one season. You know, early days, what, what, what eight, nine, ten games into the season? Nah, he is world class. He is one of the best. Like he was um, world class last season, one of the best last season, but I was like, this is just one season. Let's have a look. Nah, this guy's good. Um, and do you know what makes him elite for me? His athleticism. His ability to basically deal and cope with every single defender. There's Harlem running. Bosh! Saliba's dealt with him. Bosh! He's six foot four. He's physical. So he can deal with the physicality of basically any defender in the league. But he's also got that pace, that athleticism. So he could deal with the small, quick strikers. He can deal with the physical strikers. And I think that is why no one gets past him. He's the only player in the league that no one's dribbled past. I think it's his physicality. The amount of times Harland. When City actually tried to transition it through to Haaland, Saliba just Saliba bodied him. If you actually watch back at that Man City game, Saliba's bodied him. And, you know, all these statistics are coming out. And I always say statistics is such a poor measure to measure measure a player um, if you're a defender. Uh, but this statistic is one that is a good measure. You know, William Saliba has not been dribbled past in eight Premier League appearances this season, only committing two fouls. Um, he's also very good on the ball, which is what we're going to talk about, because not only is he good defensively, he's good on the ball. You've got to think that Erling Haaland, when he, both times he's played Arsenal, has had a 0.00 XG. Saliba and Gabriel have kept him unbelievable, unbelievably quiet. And this is, you know, I could talk about Gabriel. Gabriel was brilliant as well in, in that partnership. And I think, you know, I back for defence is about partnership. But I think William Saliba... He is that sort of standout player. You know, you look at Arsenal here, 100% Jules won, 97% um, uh, pass completion and zero times dribble pass. And, you know, being a good defender isn't just about tackles. It isn't just about not being dribble pass. It's also about your ability on the ball. We've seen in the modern game, in the modern game of football with Pep and Arteta, uh, that people want a ball playing centre-back people. The best teams want to be able to get the ball from defence to attack, attack quickly, progress the ball forward, and they need someone that can break the lines. And then that's, again, the other box that William Saliba ticks. He's a player that's not just great athleticism wise. I think, you know, he's six foot four. He's strong. He's physical. He can deal with every single striker, which is why I don't think anyone's dribble past him, because he can deal with them so well. Um, he, You know, he wins the ground jewels. He wins the physicality. Every striker has struggled against Saliba. But he's he's got that. He's got every single defensive attribute you want. But in the modern game of football, it's not just that. You need to be good on the ball. You need to have good ball control. You need to be able to progress the ball. You need to be able to pass the ball. And that's what William C Saliba's got. Sometimes he almost starts Arsenal attacks. Like he is so good on the ball. Sometimes you see him dribble out the ball and just glide past people. You know, he can just glide past players. He's cool. He's calm on the ball. Just starts moving the ball forward. And Arsenal, the way they want to move quickly you know, you've got Saliba, can break the lines, can glide past glide past opposition on the ball, progress it forward. Very, very comfortable on the ball. He has a lot of touches in a game as well. I would look at his sofa store stats. Now, I have to say, defensive stats are so misleading, um, I think, because obviously people will be like, oh, my God, Maguire's got 10 more tackles than Saliba. Oh, Maguire must be better than Saliba. And it's like, no, well, it's because, you know, Arsenal have more of the ball, so Saliba needs to make less tackles. So sometimes when you look at statistics for a, goal, uh, a centre-back, it can be misleading because, you know, the best teams, centre-backs will make the least tackles because they're not going to be on the ball as much. They're going to be on the ball more. So, then you know, the opposition is not going to have as many attacks. You know, you've got to look at all of those things. But, you know, I was having a look at his SOPA score and, you know, 7.0 ratings. You know, as a centre-back, it's really hard to get much higher unless you score or assist. But he's been phenomenal this season. And if I look at this here, and I'm, I'm going to zoom in on this, you know, 
Um, a lot of these statistics are kind of irrelevant. <laughs> no one cares how many goals you get. But what was good was touches and passes. He basically has a touch every minute. Eight it has a touch every 87.6 minutes. Um, if you look at accurate passes a game, pretty much makes an accurate pass almost every minute. Every minute and a half, he makes an accurate pass 90 with 94% accuracy. Um, but look at that. That, you know, 30%, every game, he makes about 30 passes into the other half, 30 passes forward into the other half to move the ball quickly. And that is such a beneficial thing in football because if Saliba gets the ball and he tries to pass it to the midfielder, it gets intercepted, the opposition have an attack. If Saliba gets the ball and moves the ball sideways and then the opposition press at the Arsenal defence and they can't pass forward, that puts Arsenal defence under pressure. If Saliba gets the ball, we can continually pass it forward, find the midfielders. That's a really good trait to have as a centre-back, being able to break the lines, progress the ball quickly, move the ball quickly, because if you can move the ball quickly, move the ball forward quickly, you're going to create better attacks. You're more likely to catch your opposition off guard. And Saliba actually starts a lot of Arsenal attacks as well. Obviously, you can look at things like clean sheets, interceptions, tackles per game, and, you know, you get idiots that go, oh, he only makes 0.8 tackles a game. But as I've said, those kind of statistics are so misleading if Arsenal are having 60% possession and Declan Rice is doing such a good job that Saliba doesn't need to make many tackles because Declan Rice has done such a good job. And what Saliba does do is he recovers the ball 5.4 times a game, makes clearances, he defends where needed. But Arsenal got such a good midfield that, you know, Saliba's just got to deal with those runs, those physical things, and then he defends well when he's got to defend as well. I think Saliba has been an absolutely phenomenal guy. And I think what's scary, as I said, is he's 22 years of age. We watched him absolutely body hard and, and He's good on the ball. He's good physically, 100% tackles. Um, I think as well, I read somewhere online that of the 229 players that have attempted over 50 tackles in the Premier in the Premier League since the start of last season, William Saliba has been successfully dribbled past the fewest times in three. So there's 229 players in the Premier League over the last year that have attempted a tackle more than 50 times. And a lot of them have been dribbled past six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maguire, probably 20 times. So Libra's over to pass three times. He's also a playmaker for Arsenal. He dictates the build-up. He passes out from the back. And I think for me, when I saw him play yesterday, and you know, he, there was a moment where he kind of slipped, but he still managed to shield the ball from Haaland. And he got up and he played a line-breaking pass with his first touch. You know, it said everyone's talking about how he's pocketing Haaland, how he's dealing with Haaland physically. But it was the fact that he could slip, get the ball, play the line-breaking pass, start an Arsenal attack. He can not only defend well, he can dictate play. And he's 22 years of age, which makes him a very special player. And him and Gabriel Magalhães are forming such a partnership. And you know he's such an important player for Arsenal because, and Arteta once said, you know, he likes to play players that make the players around them play better. And Saliba's the prime example of that. When Saliba plays, he compliments Gabriel. Arsenal look a lot better. And when he was injured, he was missed massively. Obviously, they've got Julian Timber. If he did get injured, he would probably cover that role once Julian Timber's back from injury. But... He's one of those people that I think Arsenal saw last season is replaceable. We see Man City playing without Rodri. They look a bit iffy. We see Casemiro hasn't been great for United this season. So now he's United iffy in midfield. But Saliba's that player to Arsenal. He's that guy that is so important to them as well. So, yeah, I wanted to do a video talking about Saliba because I think he's been fantastic. I think, you know, he does go in there. He's top three in the world, world-class categories right now if he continues. But what's even scarier is he's 22 years of age. We knew he was good because of what he did um, in the league earn, how he was last season. But I think this season in the biggest stage, in the biggest game, and Arsenal won that game because they defended well against City. It wasn't an exciting game. It wasn't a brilliant game, but they defended well. And I think Saliba was a prime example of that. Anyway, please do hit that like button. Of course, subscribe down below if you're new. Share the video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.